Greetings. <clears throat> this dude. Hello. How do you feel today? Hello. It is a good day. Very good. I would like to talk a little about the colonies before we go any further. There are many channeling about the colonies, and there are many channeling about first contact at this time. First contact is getting much closer, it would appear. The plans for first contact are varied and distinct in each region. They have decided that not one contact would be sufficient. But the contact will be different in different areas because of different cultures, different ideas, different perceptions of who we are and what we have to offer or in some cases there's much fear because they are not aware they have been kept in the dark about our existence. Does that make sense to you? Yes. I am happy to say that we have aligned ourselves with other aliens who are not in our alliance. You call them aliens, I would call them friends. They are here to help in any way they can. And they have been opening themselves to new ideas. We hope one day soon that all those that are helping humanity will be in unity. And so all the messaging will come out much clearer and be all the same message. Some have diluted messages and some have misinformation and some are just not there to help. But we hope to unite those that are in the same mindset to work together because contact for the human race is vital and important. Do I have any questions uh, from you? Very good. Thank you, just do for the update. It sounds very exciting. Um, I guess, Lini, are you ready to go with your first question? Um, I just really wanted to know if you received my application. Yes. We accept everyone's invitations. It takes a while to process and get interviews because the council that's in charge of this matter is very thorough. Alina, you can ask more. Okay. Did that answer um, your question? Yes, it does. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm still becoming acquainted with this body. Thank you. Proceed. Lini? Okay. Um, I wanted to know um, vibrationally where I'm at at the moment um, with like points. How many points am I? Your vibrational level is 4.63. Okay, not bad. Better than I thought. All right, uh, Edward, I guess. 
I'm sorry. Yep. I have myself muted. I have roommates downstairs. I don't right. interrupt next is, anything. Next is Michael and next is Jacob. All right, Edward now. Edmund or Edward? Oh, wait a second. Edward, Edward, not Edmund. Edward. Yes, I'm here. Yes, your turn. Uh, yes. Um, my question is for you, dear sir, is that uh, with the uh, the raising of the vibrations and the consciousness on the people of the planet, as you has mentioned, not everyone's uh, in the, coming from the same uh, mindset or or has the same uh, belief system. That's why things may be different in, like you were saying, different parts of the world. Now, obviously, yes. everybody here in the chat, we're we're here to try to. Uh, raise that consciousness and try to bring forth um, uh, bring forth that awareness. Yes. But obviously, we cannot impose our will or our beliefs on them. Um, how do you suggest that we um, all together can um, can uh, facilitate a, 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 a contact that will be best suited for everybody without imposing on their free will of, of their thoughts and their beliefs? It's a lifestyle. I have mentioned this before in one of my other channelings that we must, as a group of light workers, work together, knit ourselves together, and when faced with negativity, only respond in a way that a light worker would respond. The light moves out. When they see that you are happy in the light, when they see that you are calm and ready to understand them as individuals, you can connect yourselves with the network of light workers and they will be drawn in little by little. It won't be at first meeting, but as you build your vibration, as you build your w light within, then others can see it and will be drawn to it. For there's some darkness within them if they do not have the proper knowledge. And the light extinguishes darkness. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. So it's just, it's just a process. It could be slower or faster for some others. Okay, I understand. Yes, it is a process. And it's like a net. And when one person is brought up in the net and you are connected, you rise together. Does that make sense? Yes. And if you fall, another may try to bring you back up, and they will as they become enlightened even more. And first contact will be enlightening. We are working on a way to make it calm for your people. Make it sensible and profound. Thank you. All right, next uh, would be Michael, after that Jacob and Violetta. Now, uh, Michael. Okay. Uh, hello, Rizdu. Hello. Uh, my question is, uh, do you work at uh, colonies with humans on solutions on uh, how to make a contact on strategies? I have met with people from the colonies, but I do not work in the colonies. I am a worker on the craft that circles your planet, mostly in the North or American region. There are people around me that give me information on a daily basis about the colonies, and also I am aware of what actions go on there because I have got to lead in this way. There are many telepaths now in Colony 1 and I have spoken to two of these humans which has given me much information about how you work and think and what intensities you have in your bodies, minds, and spirits. It is a fascinating time for us, a great time of learning and bonding with humanity. Does that answer your question? 
Yes, thank you. Thank you. All right, next uh, would be Jacob, after Jacob would be Valletta. And uh, Valletta, we can hear you a little bit, so we'll see if it goes through. But now we will talk to Jacob. If you can, Jacob, you there? Jacob Odison. Okay. He, he uh, typed his question. All right. Oh, you typed it. Uh, Jacob asks, can you tell us about the relationship? This do. Uh, Jacob asks, can you tell us about the relationship between the powers that be on Earth and the Anunnaki and the gold trades? Are you familiar with Emperor Seven? I have heard of Emperor Seven. Yes. But let me tell you how it works between Grukvignir and humanity. At this time, we do not go through politicians. The reason for this is because they want to remain in power. They want to remain in control of humanity. They do not trust that anybody with more control or power than they would be willing to let them remain in power. Our object for this contact is not to take over the world. We have no such desires. Our most important goal is to become aligned with humanity so that we may learn from one another. You have much to teach us as well as we have much to teach you. And when that time comes, we will leave your politicians, leaders, dictators alone, unless they want to be part of this. The vibrational level of many people have grown consistently, but there are some areas of the world that are still in complete denial and darkness. This is where we must work as well. Does that answer your question? Or is there more? Uh, did you, you didn't mention Anunnaki. Anunnaki. What would you like to know about them? Uh, a relationship between the powers that be, meaning Earth's secret government, and an Anunnaki. I am not to speak much about this, but yes, there is alliances there, and they are strong because they have traded information, and they both have their own agendas, which is well known. Would you like to know something else? Jacob? Uh, what is the species of Anunnaki? I still am confused. Are they reptilians? Anunnaki is a hybrid species, but yes, they have reptilian in them. Yes. And the other one? Other part of the species? We still are not sure. Okay. And how tall are they? It depends. They can be human size. What dimension are they? They are third dimension when they are Anunnaki. Oh, interesting. So they can be something else. Yes. All right. Um, Violeta, now is your turn. And try to speak. We'll see how it sounds. Say one, two, three. I have sent you a message. Can you hear me? Yeah. If you can hear me? Yeah. Fine. I'm asking about who are the leaders of your project and who are the ones that have given you the permission to do this contact with the humans. Our alliance has four species within it. The Octorians are the highest of these species, have been around the longest, and have united with us and help us with these decisions. As an alliance, we decide together but the Arcturians have the final word. 
I hear the first time the, that there is four species. What is the fourth species? Arcturians, Lyrans, Yigil, and Pleiadian. Wonderful. Well, let now is your turn. Thank you so much for the answer. I would like to know if you know if I have had connection with any of the extraterrestrial races, um, astrally or somehow, because I can only remember a few dreams that might have been on board on a ship, or is it only my fantasy? You have been contacted. Uh, by who? I cannot tell you by who, but I am aware of your contact. That is important to us, because there, down, down the road, yes, later. down later, I'm using one of Jim's phrases, I'm not quite sure, you will be contacted again. Is it, a, is it a positive contact? Yes. Well, you can Will it be a holographic contact here on Earth? No. What kind of contact? You will be... spoken to in your mind. Telepathically? Yes. Thank you. You have two guests, uh, Valet, so they can ask questions if they like. Yes. Thank Pardon? you. Valet, you have two guests. If you like them to ask questions, they can ask their questions. You can translate. Thank you for your question. Yes, thank you for the answer. My friend has now said that um, one of them has a question. It's Andalupe. She asked, um, how long time have you been in contact with humanity? Uh, on a conscious level that we know about because we understand that we are created from you so or of other races but how long have you been in contact with with us it depends on if you go by our time scale or your time scale but it's been quite a long time they have forbidden me to tell you exactly how long, but I did mention it before. Uh, but so there was some discrepancy. Violetta said that we were created from you, and my understanding is otherwise. Can you clarify that? There are many different ways humanity has come about the way it is. <laughs> it would be a long conversation to tell you how all of humanity exists the way it does. Many species have been to your planet and many have united with you in hybrid situations. I just wanted to clarify, if I'm correct, uh, Pleiadians contributed to the Earth genome, and Earth genome contributed to Yael genome. Is it about right? It's one of many. One of many. All right. Yeah. Valeta, if you like to ask more questions or comment. Thank you very much. Um, I have a few other questions, but I let others speak, and then I talk again, if I may. All right. Valeta, um, now you can, because you, you speak when you translate, can you mute, mute your microphone on the screen, that button with the microphone, make it sure it's now crossed out on the, on the screen. Uh, Edmund, you would be next. Edmund Murray. Um, I was contacted last night by the negative forces. I told them to go jump off a bridge. Um, so I know that they're monitoring what's going on. Yes. What um, was your contact made of? I hear a tone in my ear from, I'm assuming, an yes. implant. That's because exactly the negative correct. forces have to ask my permission. Exactly if, correct. I am aware of that. Yes, that is exactly how they do it. And then they let you know that it, when you hear that tone, you may contact them. Is that correct? 
Yep. They have to do it for Richard, and I've been telling them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how they would do that. <laughs> <laughs> Get the picture. Um, I, I think I understand. Um, <coughs> I understand my vibration isn't very high. Um, so, one of the things I would like to ask, I believe it would be important for more of the very craft that are engaged around the earth to make themselves more visible as we get closer to the time of contact. That way uh, there will be more evidence and more people will be aware before <coughs> the actual contact. <coughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, when, when the time comes that I get my contact, I would request that there be some sort of audio letting you know it's going to happen so I can be prepared and not freaked out so that I actually have a valuable contact. <coughs> this is coming. Excellent. I will share with you that Colony 2 is a video creating colony. They are working together to make video documentaries for your internet systems. They have completed four documentaries at 53 to 55 minutes each. They are going to make several more before they begin bringing them to your human public. But they will be informative and they will let everyone know what the plans are for human contact. Does that answer your question? Yeah. You will be aware that they are here. I will make it public. All right, um, Dave, you're next. After that, there is Faye and Justin. Um, uh, Dave, are you there? Mm -hmm. Hey, Dave? Is oh. that me, Jane? No, no, Dave, David, David. All right, now it's your turn to speak. Did you hear a uh, house, financial situation, and being visited and taken, maybe, or taken? You will be contacted about these things on a personal level. All right, uh, Fee, uh, now is your turn. All right, uh, Justin, your turn. All right, Tucker said, Justin says that Tucker said that I will be interviewed soon, but she said that two, she said that two weeks ago on the last webinar, and it has not happened yet. Is there any date that you can say that this interview will happen? And my next question is, what is my... Okay, let's do the first question. <clears throat> Tucker is correct. You will be interviewed. However, the process is taking longer than we had thought originally. The committee is very thorough. And I don't know how to say the rest. But they are very thorough 
they are very interested in how contact is made and they are very interested in feedback. This way they are developing questions specifically for each person. Does that make sense to you? All right. Uh, any date? A date cannot be given. Okay. I am not with the council. They will advise me when interviews are given afterwards. Right. So Jane will be next. Jane will be next. But now I have a second question from Justin, which is, what is my vibration level as it interests me? I cannot seem to get a read on you at the moment. Just a moment. Please hold. Barbara, you're next after Jane. You're next after Jane. It's time-wise, like, no, three minutes. Yes. You have your question? I do have some. Oh. 4.1. Oh, it's not bad. All right, next is Jane. <laughs> I had the same question. Um, what, my, what's my vibrational? You are easier to reach. 4.3. Any more questions? You have a couple minutes, Jane, if you want to discuss anything. Okay, what do you know about the reported news of reptilian ships being captured on November the 11th by the Silver Legion? I have heard that news. It is very hard to verify that, being that we're not in contact with that Silver League. The chances of that story being true are 73%. Jane? Yes? Go ahead. Does that answer your question? I guess so. Thank you. It's all that I can do for the moment. Okay. Nice one. Certainly. Oh. Um, are they planning to contact me when I'm ready? Yes. Okay, thank you. All those... Are you? Do you want to be to read? All right. All those who wish contact will receive it. All right. Unless otherwise told. All right. Next is Barbara. Hi there. <laughs> um, can you uh, tell me what is my vibrational level? I've been trying to work to raise it. You have moved up to 4.47. <laughs> and have I been abducted by the Greys with my sister? One moment. Where was your residence? In California, the San Francisco Bay Area. That's what I thought. Yes. Was this Yale? No. Okay. Yeah. Was this positive grades, negative grades, neutral grades? They were neutral. Okay. Now, are the light beings, I've been told they've been with me since I was born, are they still with me? Yes. Teaching me? Yes. Okay, and then just. Will I be chosen for one of the colonies or to off off planet? Work? That is not a question I can answer. Right, okay. The committee is very thorough and they take those who can make the trip and have something to offer in return. I have a question. How many have been taken from the people applied on the web? Two. Uh, how many uh, applications have been received so far, if you know? I do not know. Okay. Okay. That That's it. Do you want me to read or? No, I can read. Sorry. Right. 
I am new to the vibration. Um, what is the highest we can get to, and what is my vibration to? Depending on the individual, okay. vibrations can reach as high as 9 or 10. Okay. Your vibration, you are just working on your vibration. I have yeah. Your vibration is 3.66. Okay. Um, as another question, uh, a bit, I was having an inner ear pressure. It's been going on for many years. Is that something that was planted, or is that just... Um, there may be an implant. Let me check. You do have implants, but that not, is not one of them. That okay. is a normal physiological problem. Okay, thank you. Is that all? That's it. All right. We uh, ended the cycle. Just do. Would you feel comfortable doing another cycle of questions? How is your feeling? We may start it. If I have to leave, I will leave. All right. Um, I think it's very important what you announced today about the collaboration between Yael, uh, Girk Fitnir, and others. Can you give us any more specifics? Who are the others? The Federation of Light Workers is our first ally. Any more? There are others, but we cannot call them allies as of yet. Okay. Um, what is the, how, how many physical beings from Federation, Galactic Federation of Light Workers are present, actually are totally working on, on the Earth project? More come every day. It is hard to get a clear number. But more are coming every day and the reason for that is the need for your ascension is vital. Contact cannot be made until we have a certain percentage of higher vibrational beings on your planet. Also, fourth dimensional energy is being released into humanity. This is an important step in your evolution. This is being studied and observed by many species. Your planet is getting much attention. Some cannot come close but observe from a distance and others come right to your atmosphere. So I could not say the exact number at this time because they are coming every day. It is an interest to us that you are growing so quickly those of you have, uh, who have knowledge of the ascension grow quickly. Have you read my proposal for you to holographically contact the leaders of MIC at large numbers, around 2,000 of those? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Caroline, uh, are you ready for your question? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, do we have to be a certain... Um, level vibrationally to ascend. Um, is there a point um, number or anything we have to be to be able to ascend? You must be at a five vibration to be able to travel to another dimension. Okay. You must be as a culture at 5.2 to have a total ascension of the planet. Be, be aware that ascension is not rapture. Ascension is evolution. Does that make sense to you? You won't yeah. be called off the planet. You'll stay on your planet, but you will evolve. You will start your telepathy and evolving. But the last time uh, somebody answered, I think it was this dude, it was about six generation, about 200 years was your estimate for us to get there to 5.2 to the fourth dimension? As a planet. Culture. Yes. 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 But some people will do it sooner, right? Oh, yes. There are some that are already there. 
Um, another question. Um, is there a frequency that we have um, on Earth that we could use to help us open up our psychic abilities? You have had it for centuries. The Ohm. Ohm. Okay. Are you aware of the Ohm? Yeah. Is there any special way to use it or is it in like, meditation? Is it I would, or? The Ohm is best used in groups when everyone can become a higher frequency together. That way you can travel separately yet together. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yes, that sounds really good. It has been um, with you many centuries. Wow, well, it's really good. Um, just one other thing. Um, the people who have applied and aren't picked, I was wondering if you would have other uses for them? They will be visited eventually, on Earth. Okay. Is there like a timeline? Um, so many years or...? We are trying to develop a timeline, but humanity is so erratic. It is hard yeah. to put a timeline on this kind of visitation. Last time we spoke... Uh, no, not last time. Like, about a few months we spoke ago, you gave us the number end of next year. Now you said it comes sooner. What's your estimate? Very, very wide range. Give us a very wide range. For the visitations? For the contact, open contact. That I cannot tell you at this time. Thank you. This would throw dispersion at our leaders. But yeah, nobody, no, not many people are paying attention, so that's okay. Thank you. Uh, Lini, do, uh, Caroline, do you want to say anything more? Um, not really. Just one other thing about um, ascending again. Is there anything we can do for ourselves and our loved ones to help them ascend? Yes. Meditation is very important. Okay. Meditation links you together with all light workers in the world and off world as well. Mm -hmm. This can help pull up many others all at once, but when you do it yourself, when it, you are the source of the meditation, you are the center of the pool. Does that make sense to you? You yeah. become a, a peak, a spark, and that way when others feel that subconsciously or consciously, it also pulls at them. It gives them a desire to move up, to meditate, and to become greater in their perfection. Uh, Edward Schellen. Thank you Next for your is question. Michael. Edward, your, your turn now. Okay. Sorry, I had myself on mute there. Try, try um, to be br brief. Uh, Try to concentrate it on one, you know, one most important thing. Most important, one more, most, uh. <laughs> Thank you, sorry. <laughs> uh, there's so many ideas and thoughts that run through the, the mind. Sometimes uh, yes. I don't have things prepared. You just try to go with what grabs you yeah, at, the, at the moment. Um, and I've been listening to everyone. I, th I think everyone's, we've all been on the, on the same page here about what, what we're asking, what we want to achieve, and what we want to see. Um, but um, my question is, um, and everybody has these concerns, is that we all we may not all have uh, some one Pacific or two Pacific uh, things that we're all that uh, be looked at for contact, but we all have something to add to the pot. And people, I'm just trying to ask this for everybody. We're all we all want to share in the experience of of contact and to do our part. And I think. Um, uh, for those who are taken and for those who are not, we just want to have that uh, sense of uh, direction. And uh, I don't know if that's a more of a statement or, 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 or a half uh, ass uh, a question. Thank you, Edward. But, uh, I think you, you made a good point. You are understood. We brought our vibration up by joining together as a community. You 
have no telepathy at this time, or very little, the way to be helpful is to be brave about things that some people might find odd, talking to aliens, being part of love and of light and a network of light workers. You must be brave and admit that you're part of this. Sometimes that will not be a very popular stand. But in order for us to knit ourselves together, we must be brave and do so and not pull away because the time is coming when they will see that you are standing on solid ground and they are not. But at this time, it appears they are standing solid and you are just being whimsical, dreamlike, or weird. Is that a correct word? I think it was good. Does that make sense to you at all? Yes. I understand what you're saying. Uh, I, you have private. special values in your own person that make people like you or dislike you. You use the, all the positive things within you, the creativity, the music, the thoughts, to push your agenda forward and push your truth into the world. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Good. Carolyn has been, have asked if she has been contacted by aliens in the past, extraterrestrial friends in the past. Briefly. I'm not even sure that they were meaning to contact you at that time. Mm -hmm. But they were aware of your consciousness to them. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yes, it's fine. Thank you. All right, Michael, next would be Jacob. All right, uh, my question is, uh, you are more, more evolved in technology and uh, this kind of stuff. And I would like to ask, uh, are you more evolved in uh, spiritual matters like, uh, are you aware of spiritual powers from fire, for example, that people who possess this power have um, have ability to uh, touch fire and it, it does them no harm? There is such things, yes. This is a fourth dimensional trait, characteristic, because you can walk through solid mass in fourth dimension and therefore you can walk through fire as well and it would appear to be around you but you are not within it. Does that make sense to you? Yes. The fourth dimension has many characteristics of magic as you would call it. Mm -hmm. Michael? Yes, uh, and my last question is, uh, can you see my uh, spirit guys? They are hiding away for, from me and I, I don't know who they are. If, can you see them? Or... I can sense them, but I do not see them. But they are there. Oh, you, you. <laughs> you will know them one day. Oh, thank you so much. I had a chance to speak to my one of my guides through through Jim and it was very educational and enlightening oh, so find someone next to you and speak speak through a channel I think that's a great or through a medium I think that works great Jacob is your turn okay I have uh, Jacob says I have very few strong memories from childhood I have a very 
I have a few very strong memories from the childhood, mostly involving negative entities. Do I have any contacts that I am not aware of? If so, uh, can you elaborate? Yes, you do have contacts that you are not aware of. Anyone that is aware of aliens and species and diversities of this nature are being watched. Not in a bad way, but in a nurturing way to keep you on the right track. There are many things about earthlings and humans that distract them from growing into the light. They have much guilt which is negative, much things that were told to them as youths that stick to them and, and become negative portions of their psyche. We must try to cleanse them and lead them on a path of ascension because God really cares about your spirit more than he cares about what you've done with your body, what you've done with your emotions to other people. You see, we have to cleanse that out. You have to cleanse that out. We have already cleansed it out. I say we because I'm in this body. And this body needs cleansing as well. Uh, Violetta, uh, you can unmute your microphone. Does that make sense to you? I'm can sensing. you hear me now? Yes. Just a second. Uh, Jacob says, thank you, yes, we can hear you, Violet, you, you're good to go. I would like to know uh, about orbs, these little, like, white balls that you can see on the photographs. What are they? I see a lot of them on all my photographs. Yes. They have slightly other colors as well. Correct. They can be one of two things. Sometimes spirits appear as orbs on your world. They condense themselves and move quickly that way. Other than that, they are spiritual entities from off-planet as well. There are what you might call species, but they're really spirits. And they are aware of the human condition. When you see these white orbs, is it in any particular place more than another? I see them on photographs. I can take a photograph in the evening and then they always come towards me. Correct. Or when we meditate with other people, we sit together, there are big orbs around and they are above us in the same room. Yes. Are they there to observe, to learn, or are they to help? All of the above. They are there to observe, help, bring a higher vibration to the room, bring a higher vibration to the connection between the individuals in that area. A sense of joy they can admit. Have you noticed these kind of things? Yes, yes. A lot of joy and happiness and peace, yes. yes. This is their way of helping you open up and get rid of the negativity that's in each of us and Jim. And actually, we still have negativity in our culture as well. And it does help. I'm not Good. sure I stated that correctly. Did you understand? Yes, thank you so much. My friend here, Marianne, she also has a question. She's asking about the crop circles. Who are making them? Uh, is it information for us humans? There are some crop circles that are genuine, yes. They are knit together as a message. They are from a species that is not interactive with humans other than this way. 
They are giving you the message through sound and algorithms. These crop circles, if calculated correctly, will give you a sequence of notes and it will give you a message that way. It also can be binary and it also can be a characteristic of their culture and they've received your satellites that have pictures of humanity and thoughts and music and they're getting to know you through tonality. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you so much. I also have another question, if I may. Uh -huh. You know that um, in our old books, it says about this Antichrist. Is there coming some kind of false performance of an Antichrist in our time? There will rise one who would be known as that. But his beginnings will seem pure. That is a big topic. Can you elaborate on that? I mean, will we be deceived or will a lot of the humanity be deceived by a figure yes. that they think is Christ returning and some of the politicians will then try to take over and make our slaves under their ruling? It is not exactly like that. I do not know your full future when it comes to this. I have read about it in some of your ancient books. But let me tell you this. We cannot go into the future that far to know the outcome. But there will be one known as that. What he does is variant upon the quick the quick the speed of his rise to power okay uh, do you have any more can to we say avoid can we avoid can we do something to neutralize this you can stay in truth thank you so much and you will not be deceived you will thank know you. by his when you are developing your telepathy, you will know his intentions. Yes, I look forward to that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for all of your questions. Okay, uh, next. Uh, thank you, Valletta. Could you mute your microphone now? Uh, thank you. And uh, next will be Edmund Murray. After that, there will be Dave. Dave, uh, you'll be after Edmund and then Faye. I have a, one question in typing from Michael. He says, Max, do they plan to contact the negatives as you suggested? I don't know if it was it was already answered. So, this do. Uh, are you planning to contact uh, the mil uh, military industrial complex leaders as I suggested through holographic projections? At this time, we are not. Okay. There is reasons for that that I cannot disclose. But... They would not accept a holographic yes. projection without finding its source within minutes. This would not be good. I see. Uh, 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 Caroline asks, wanted to know if this dude knows Vreelan from the Ashtar Galactic Command. Vreelan from the Ashtar Galactic Command. I do not know personally this person or alien, but I, I know of them. Like I have mentioned earlier, we would like to bring all the positive energies together so that we are on the same wavelength to greet humanity. It is the only way that we'll be able to have consistency, truth, and integrity when contacting the Earth. So uh, we will get to know these people. Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. That is very promising. It, we, we like it very much because 
Uh, Galactic Federation he'll have been with us for a long time and we read their messages all very frequently. Yes. Um, Edmund, you're on now. Hi. I would very much like to have um, conscious interaction with the Palladians. That's sort of like a request. And then I'm going to <laughs> come and ask what my vibration is. You have said that your vibration is not high. I don't believe it is. Your belief system is flawed. Ooh. You are at 3.9, which is higher than average. What's the average? Average is 3 to 3.5. Thank you. Edmund, you have more, if you like. Um, no, thank you, though. I know why you think your vibration is not high, but you must drop some of these earthly sensibilities and think more spiritually. Your spirit actually rises. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Thank you. I will try my best. Forget about your physicalities, your negative thoughts. These things can be pushed through. The spirit is much stronger than all of those things. And I see that you are a sensitive thinker. Be aware that you are being protected. Thank you. Dave, is it now your turn? Channeling is a delicate process. It can be interrupted at any time. A strong connection is needed. There are those who can channel you may be able to. But if there is a break in that channeling connection, false information can come in. That is why we have to be very cautious about what is said and what is felt during a channeling session. A transmission with a break in it can be very dangerous. You have abilities. Be careful not to be distracted. It appears to me that there has been distractions during your meditations at times. Perhaps this would be one of the answers, but not all of them. Your physicality and pains may also contribute to distraction. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, physical body is a little rough right now. Physical body is rough. There yeah. Are those around you that would try to help you with that? That is all I can say. Dave? Thank you. Thank you for your question. Is it everything? Faye, you're next. Faye? And Justin is after Faye. Okay, Faye's here. Faye says, I had a strong intention of healing for everyone. I want to heal humans, aliens, and other kind of beings. I do not want to differentiate them being positive or negative. In fact, I am more concerned to heal negativity. I want to see love in many negative beings, that people that, uh, though they are negative, I want be, to be a universal healer. I want to give love to everyone, be, the, be them positive or negative. I want to know if 
this is working for me as this is what I'm thinking for fulfilling my task here. Am I being too open with my own intention, like I'm hurting myself by doing this? No, you are not hurting yourself. Your intention is pure. Intention is a great healer. If your intention is to heal even the darkest of souls, your intention is what comes through. This is the light in its most pure form, is to be able to reach into and eliminate darkness. Do you understand that? Do not be afraid to mingle with the negatives, because your positivity is what may spark them to change in some small way. We have seen this even with the species that are negative around us, since we do not harm them, and we know that their intentions are not good, they see us differently. They used to say that we were weak. Now they are confused, which is a step forward on our behalf. So please, use your intent. It will not hurt you. Just make sure you do not bring those darknesses into yourself. You must disconnect from them after healing. You have to break the bonds between you and that negative entity or emotion or condition. Do you understand? Uh, next question by, yes, uh, Fe uh, Fe answers yes. And his next question is, will the positive aliens interact with the negative aliens? Do they ever try to be friendly? I have odd sense of love there because I believe in the end everyone will, will be loving. I do not believe in negative beings that wanted to hurt anyone. There are such beings that want things for themselves. They are not concerned about the welfare of others. It's not that they are hating you. It's not that they are negative toward you. They just want what they want. They want to have what they want. Does that make sense to you? And, and the other thing is, yes, we do occasionally make contact with the negative entities only to let them know that we do not agree with what they're doing, but that we still will respect them as a species. Does that make sense to you? They sometimes, okay. they sometimes come to galactic conferences, not alliances, but conferences that happen once every so many Earth years to make known their demands or their wants or their complaints, just as we and our Federation have meetings to discuss how we can become better. Does that make sense to you? You mentioned Federation. That was the first time you mentioned Federation. You mean Alliance, right? Girk yes. Yes. Okay. You call it whatever you will. Thank we you. call it Alliance. That's okay. Okay. Uh, next would be Justin. Justin says, do I have a galactic name that I have used during past lives for people to know me by, to know me by. I am not at liberty to share that information. That is for you to find out through an earthly contact. Justin, you have more questions if you like. Yes. That's all from Justin. So Jane is next, and after Jane we have Barb. So Jane? Yeah. Um, have I been contacted or abducted in the past, and do I have channeling abilities? I'm not aware of an abduction. 
I am aware of a, a contact and at this time your channeling abilities are about 7% but you could become a channeler under the right circumstances. Jane, do you want to ask anything else? Um, yeah, it, uh, that you say that the 5 is a vibrational level to ascend yeah. and um, I stand that there's something of the event going to happen when Paul would all be given the opportunity to send at once. So what happens to the people who are below the five? They will come along. It must be all or nothing. And we're looking for all. Those... That time will be in the future. They will, some will evolve and others will not at one time. The end of the ascension is when all are evolved. But your group will evolve first. And, dr and then when they see this evolution, they will want it and require it. I just want to comment. It takes generations, maybe six or so. So it, it doesn't happen at once. It's not one 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 year or one one month. It's year many years. Did that so it's, it's not one time. I mean, I understand according to Tolik is that there it would happen in the blink of an eye. Is the way that he puts it. That would be the rapture. That would be the calling oh. up. That will happen in the blink of an eye. The ascension is evolution. So the rapture is... we are not expecting any rapture anytime soon? I cannot say. Only God can say when the rapture will be. Okay. Did, if, you, did your civilization have a rapture? No. Okay. But this one is supposed to. Oh, this one is supposed to, but... But according to your ancient books and God. I see. We will not discredit any of that. I see. It is not our place. Okay. Is ascension the same as enlightenment? It can be. Ascension is the same as evolution to the next step. Which Thank is you. enlightening. I think it's an important question. Is it, does anybody have any more questions right to, about that topic, ascension, enlightenment, and rupture? Very good. So next is, yeah. Jane, do you have anything else to say? Oh, no, I'm done. Thank All you. All right, Barbara and Shh. then um, Diana. Let me see what Barbara is. I will entertain these last questions. Very good. Thank you. Um, when I was a child, I was in bed and I woke up during the night and I pulled my mattress away from the wall and there's two red eyes staring at me. Was that evil or was that alien? Did it happen? Was I dreaming that? Because it scared the bejesus out of me. I am not aware of that situation, okay. but it was not alien. Okay. Go ahead. No? All right. Diana? I was going to ask, how can I be better spiritually um, with vibration moving up? What should I do? Just meditate? Meditation is a great start, okay. yes. <coughs> Become interactive in a way that benefits others. Okay. Like Barbara is involved in the Reiki, which is mm -hmm. also a pooling up of energy with others. Be around those that are energetic. Okay. Spiritually. Okay. And your spirit will rise. Okay. Worry not about your body, your emotions as much, because the spirit is more important. Okay. But of course, we know how strong you feel your emotions. Earthlings are very, very intense. Oh. Uh. Anymore? No, no. Caroline asking, um, I'm getting tired very often. I was wondering why. 
this could be a human physiology kind of thing. But the reptilians also initiate days of little progress. What am I trying to say here? They have a technique where they can bring down production on the planet. But as soon as they initiate that, we can stop it. But it causes people to feel tired, listless. Mm -hmm. Has there ever been a day that you notice that every single person you know is tired and listless? Yes. This would be a reptilian attack that is very subtle. But we are not allowed to stop the attack. But we can stop it. Does that make sense? You wanted to, you? to say you don't, you're not allowed to prevent it, but you can stop when it starts. We're not allowed to take actions against them before they do anything. Okay. Because this would be a warlike gesture. However, if they do start something that we do not agree with, we can stop it. Okay. Is there a way of protecting ourselves? We'll protect you. Okay. Thank you. I wanted to invite another prayer, uh, a poem or a blessing which you could say in your language and then translate, maybe as a final say. I do not know if I have time for this. All right, that's fine. Just do thank you very much for your visit and the webinar. We really appreciate your effort and your announcement and your answers. Thank Everybody. You. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. I'll be back in a minute. Still there. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. How you doing? <laughs> you had to run downstairs real quick. Oh, okay. That's um, not a problem. Thanks, dude. Oh, you're welcome. Have a great day. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for being here. All right. Uh, anybody has any more questions to me? No, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for the webinar. Uh, so maybe next Sunday, if things go well, I will, um, I will uh, invite everybody to speak to me, and I will no, answer I'm questions just, like, if I have any. Feel tight. Oh, okay, right. Jim, do you have anything to mm -hmm. say? Okay, if I'm right. Um, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of anything. The, what what did just, you feel during? Did you hear just the speaking? Um, uh, sometimes it's it's. I can hear what he says a little bit. It's like hearing <laughs> talking um, But sometimes he'll use some of my thought processes, and then I can hear him very plain. If if he needs a word or a sentence or whatever, he'll he'll come directly to me. So. All right. Um, I think I need to. I didn't want to lower the vibration, but really, I did the research on uh, Jen on on no on Jen Violetta on. Uh, on the orbs. So the orbs are, 99% of the orbs unfortunately is dust or water droplets flying in the air, especially in the evening when it becomes colder. You have water do droplets right above your camera and the flush makes it shine like, like an orb. Mm -hmm. So if, if it is without flush, that might be an orb. If it is with flush and then you turn off, with the flush you, sh you do multiple pictures and you see orbs flying around, especially if it's cold and you breathe, you have like the whole cloud of orbs. And then if you turn off the flash, they disappear. I mean, this is obviously droplets or dust. 
but sometimes obviously they are real ones especially the ones which we see with your eyes so so I didn't want to turn down the vibration because these do sometimes get disappointed when, when, when I say no no I don't believe you he, he, he called two major spiritualism but there is also a simple <coughs> physical a flash and the orb so thank you everybody anybody has any final words <coughs> any questions anything all right all right thank you I, I, we love you yeah and we're looking forward to more uh, to thank more you for progress. Everything. thank you thank you thank you bye bye thanks all right Good evening, good night, thank you. Alright, there we go, Sounds back. Bye. Good night everybody, or...